this gradually. So this helps. So um, I have some notes here that I kind of want to go over with um, this whole thing about me using baking soda to cure my, my HPV. So, all right. Now, if you're sick, your body's pH is too acidic. Um, a lot of people, I hear some people who, uh, who are bashing the whole alkaline thing with your body. Now, your body is not supposed to be alkaline, per se. Your body is not supposed to be acidic at all. Your body needs to be at a healthy pH for the human body. Okay, so if you're alkaline, you're way too basic. If you're not alkaline, if you're not neutral, you're way too acidic. So you need to put alkalizing things into your body to help raise up that alkalinity and cut down on that acidity. That's basically what you're doing. You're trying to get rid of the acidity in your body. Because if you're alkaline, if your body is alkaline, then you are sick still. So you just need to get up to a healthy pH by using alkalizing substances. So, okay. Um, three must-haves that I feel like you need to have in your medicine cabinet. Baking soda, peroxide, and apple cider vinegar. You can get rid of just about anything with these three. I mean, it's amazing. All three naturally alkalizes your body. If, okay, if your stomach is upset, if you have acid reflux, if you just take a, you know, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, it will neutralize. I know you're thinking, oh, apple cider vinegar, that's acidic. It will neutralize your stomach acids and it'll go away right like that. Um, which is something that I do for while I'm pregnant. You get, you know, depending on if you're, you know, how you carry, if you're a girl or a boy or just your body, you might get a lot of acid reflux. You can't be just popping down all of these different, these different things with chemicals. So it's just real simple. I just take a little tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and I feel better. Or I drink a little baking soda water and I feel better. It goes away immediately. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it's really my cure-all for everything, honestly. I use it for everything. Now, these three things, baking soda, peroxide, and apple cider vinegar, um, cuts down on infection. It cuts down on inflammation, your joints, any type of inflammation in your body from working out, all of that, aches and pains, viruses, bugs, diseases. Um, and you only have to do it, like, once a day for good health, you know. Um I like to start off, like if you're just starting off and you actually have a health issue, I would do it a little bit, I might do it twice a day, you know, just to just to be sure, just like you brush your teeth twice a day. You wanna um, do some type of uh, regimen with this um, apple cider vinegar, baking soda peroxide and have like a routine for yourself every day. So if you brush your teeth with it in the morning, apple cider, I'm not apple cider, uh, baking soda and peroxide in the morning and at night, then you can go ahead and you take a cup of water. You're gonna put a couple tablespoons or so of baking soda, or actually however much baking soda that you can personally stand because it's good for you. Like it's absolutely good for everything about you. I mean, you can literally feel it in your veins. Like I'm so serious, I love baking soda. Um, and I'm, you might be thinking that, oh, that sounds so gross, taking baking soda and water. But if you can stand um, Alka-Seltzer, you can take baking soda because baking soda is the main ingredient in Alka-Seltzer. But I'm pretty sure that most people would want to go out and buy the Alka-Seltzer because it comes in a box labeled for that, you know. But we have to like start thinking for ourselves. Oh, this is the main ingredient that I can just buy this by itself and it may be because it's more potent because it's just that it may work better, which is true. Okay, so what I like to do is take a cup of water, put my baking soda in it, drink that. And then I like to do an apple cider vinegar chaser. So then I'll take a little shot of apple cider vinegar, which really doesn't taste that bad. It's not nearly as harsh as distilled um, vinegar. Um, I actually prefer to do um, Bragg's raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Shake it up real well. And, you know, take your nice shot after your baking soda. So when you mix ap um, apple cider vinegar and baking soda together, it causes a chemical reaction. Um, which releases the carbon out of it, and then it kind of turns into a, a detergent, um, which I know a lot of people are making um, laundry detergent using apple cider vinegar or vinegar and baking soda. So, I mean, it's really just great all across the board. I mean, it's great for your health, cleans your clothes and your dishes, but most importantly, it's great for your body. So, um, let's see. Hmm... All right. 
So another um, way that I like to use my apple cider vinegar and baking soda, um, I like to use it in a bath, which is how I ended up um, curing my HPV, HPV um, that I had, which I don't even think human papillomavirus. I don't even think that's what it is, honestly. Um, it seems to me that is, you know, it's just your pH is off, just like you would get a, ye a yeast infection. Um, uh, it could come from using the wrong soap which is what I kind of, I think happened with me. I think it was from the soap that I was using. And, you know, like, I really feel like it's from like, you know, just normal things that would cause like a yeast infection. Um, because I was able to get rid of it on my own very easily once I stopped going to the doctor for it. So my, I don't have a doctor anymore. I was going to a midwife because I really don't like how I was being treated by my doctors with my pregnancies. So I switched over. And life is great with the midwife. You know, they ask you questions. They make sure you're okay. But um, I almost forgot my point. So anyway, so like doing the, um, I would put in my bath, I would sprinkle a whole bunch of baking soda in my tub. whole bunch of it, right? Like maybe half a box of baking soda. Get in the tub. And then I'll go and I'll pour apple cider vinegar all in the tub, all over myself in the bath is just going to bubble and fizzle up from um it's going to it's going to fizz once those two agents meet each other and cause that chemical reaction so you know i try you know a lot of people do apple cider vinegar douches and things like that you know you can do that like i'm not really familiar with that that's more like old school and i don't have any like older women in my life that actually do those things or i don't know maybe they do but they just don't talk about it i don't know but i was never taught this this is something i had to learn on my own so i put it in my bath water i washed myself with it i washed my hair with it i washed my face with it um, I mean, it's great for your skin. It's like just rejuvenating. It'll take off that top layer. It's like, it's just great. You can even use it. I use it as a chemical peel. Um, also, um, I was working this campaign in the summertime with handing out free cell government cell phones to people who are on assistance and like just my face from just, you know, dirt and just, you know, touching people, touching hands and ink pens and stuff, you know, and then touching my face because I was out in the element all day, you know, working this job, um, my skin just, you know, was just not right, not like nice and smooth like I like it. So just I use the same treatment on my face. I put baking soda all over my face like a mask, like, you know, just baking soda and water. And I just put it on my face like a mask. And then I put apple cider vinegar in a spray bottle. I cut it with just a tad bit of water, way more apple cider vinegar than water. Only because when I tested it on my hand, it kind of like stung a little bit. So I'm like, oh, that might be a good chemical peel. So I sprayed, a, you know, my slightly diluted apple cider vinegar on top of my baking soda face. And my face was beautiful. I mean, it works so well. There's so many great um, uses for baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and peroxide. It's amazing. Another thing, you can take, like, if you're feeling sick, you're feeling like you got a sore throat or a cold coming on, you can actually take um, your, um, brush your teeth before you go to bed as, as usual, right? And then you take the little cap of, um, and you pour little, the peroxide bottle cap. That is such a small amount. Pour a little peroxide in that and just tr take it as a shot, right? You know, take it to the head right before you go to bed. But this has to be the last thing that you do before you go to sleep you can't eat or drink after you do this if you're going to eat or drink eat and drink be ma whatever you're going to do right before you get in that bed take your little shot of your peroxide after you brush your teeth go to sleep wake up in the morning and you will have none all those germs and bugs you felt in your throat is gone it's gone no more like I, i'm so serious it's gone so um, I really hope that y'all, that this, you know, works for y'all and that, you know, you, you take heed to what I'm saying because I'm only here trying to help people. You know, uh, I do a lot of talking to people around me. A lot, some people don't want to hear what I have to say at times. And that's perfectly fine because, you know, it, it takes time to condition yourself. You know, you have to hear things a certain amount of times or from, you know, in different ways, sometimes for your brain to be able to receive it when you're so heavily indoctrinated. You know, we got all this indoctrination around us. We got like the church and the school and these uh politicians we have a lot of um fake games going on around us we have a lot of fake fakery i'll just call it fakery going on around us that um 
is keeping us from wanting from being open minded to what's really going on here. Like we are living in sci fi times. Sci fi is not true. Sci fi is what's real. You know, that's what we're living in. You know, if it was created and put put out there, whatever it has been nothing is new under the sun. Let's let's keep it there. Nothing is new under the sun. But um I want y'all to take heed to what I'm telling you. You know, it's it's great information for you if you want to try it. Um I advise that you look into it a little bit more. And, you know, thank you for your time. Good night.